I provide full HIP project files to all my video tutorials with notes attached in the project with clear explanations and tips so you don't get lost. Become a Bubble Pins perk member and you'll get access to my Houdini project files. I have project files for every video that I've released on my channel. There are links in the description of each video that are exclusive to perk members. Join Bubble Pins Perk 2 membership and you can gain access to every Houdini project file I've released. Perk 1 will give you a smaller selection of projects and can be used to test out the subscription. And Rigid Body Destruction was one of the first things I learned in Houdini. And over the years, Side Effects has improved their RBD system and the latest RBD stop tools make it a breeze to work with. Dop nets are no longer necessary in RBD, but dop nets are still there if you need it. Create a variety of different destructions like deformations and mesmerizing spring-like fracturing, or just old-fashioned breaking things apart. It's almost therapeutic. RBD emission is one of the later features I learned, and it comes in handy for so many different scenes. It's super fast and upscales your scene to a whole new level. It's basically emitting random pieces from specified emission points. As you can see, it has so many possibilities. Personally, I'm not very fashmo, but adding clothing to a character does make the scene a lot more realistic. Clothing simulation, clothing creation, and even tearing can be done in Vellum. I have started integrating Marvelous Designer generated clothing into Houdini's Vellum Solver for animated clothing simulations. In the latest project release, you'll find my entire workflow hip project. But did you know Vellum isn't all about clothing? You can even simulate different real life soft objects in Vellum that are sticky, soft, and squishy. Have you ever done character animation in Houdini? Procedural animation can augment your character animation to a whole new level. Procedural animation with kin effects in Houdini is one of my favorites. Once you start using IK controls and learn how to parent controls to other controls, you'll get obsessed just like me. It will open your eyes to a whole new way of animation. These are just some of the past projects that I released in my kin effects mini series. Easily make a scene larger than life by adding a single character, multiplying it 50 times, boom! You got yourself a city full of people alive, walking about, and each with its own story waiting to be told. The best thing I love about crowds is that it's fast, very fast. You won't believe how fast it is simulating 50 to 100 to thousands of agents all moving around the scene in their own way. You can combine the KinFX procedural animations into your crowd agents to create something totally crazy. These are just some of my past projects. I got loads more stashed waiting to be unlocked. One of the more eye-catching spectacles simulated in Houdini are everyone's favorite flip fluids and oceans. They are two different systems in Houdini. Oceans allow you to simulate an infinite body of water. But the best part is that you'll find that oceans is not CPU intensive at all and has very fast performance. 